Market downturns can create dislocations in different stock and ETF prices. And sometimes this can lead to instances where fundamentally strong companies or even entire sectors are undervalued due to a broader market sediment. But with all this, it can create a massive opportunity for investors willing to buy high quality assets at the time where their price might be discounted. Now this is if and only if they are lucky enough to come across these opportunities and make the right choices at the right time. Now in this video, we are going to dig into one of the most popular dividend growth ETFs known as SCHD. And I'm going to explain why as of right now, this ETF could be one of those right place, right time buying opportunities for dividend growth investors like myself that have dreams of dividends, but on top of that also growth for a long, long time in the future. Now, if this interests you at all, and if you're interested in SCHD and dividend growth investing, Make sure to please stick around, drop a like down below, and let's get right into it. So just backing up for a second, making things very, very clear, I personally do think that the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF known as SCHD is offering a massive opportunity for buy and hold investors, not necessarily a massive opportunity for a short-term holder. But for investors like myself that are in their maybe 20s or even 30s that have a longer time horizon ahead and want to capture some massive upside along with massive dividends and dividend growth, there could almost not be a better time. Now looking at SCHD's performance over the last five years, looking at the price return, this ETF is up around 39.36%, again, not including dividends. But as you can see, pretty much ever since May of 2021, this ETF has traded mostly flat, and now as of the last 12 months or so, even down into the right. Now, interestingly enough, throughout this time frame over the last, say, two years or so, I have personally been stacking up a ton of shares of SHD from anywhere in the mid-70s to now as of recently even below $70 per share, making my current cost basis of over 500 shares right around $72 per share. Now, throughout the time frame that I've been holding on to SCHD ever since I would say late 2021 and beyond, the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF has been paying their quarterly dividends, and the quarterly dividends have been getting bigger and bigger year over year for the most part since I've been holding on to the ETF. For example, since 2019, SCHD paid out $2.03 in dividends, then during 2020, $2.25, and then in 2021, $2.56. And of course, investors like you and I both know, dividend growth for SEHD is definitely no stranger. Since the fund's inception back in 2011, this ETF has been basically paying more and more dividends quarter after quarter for the most part every single time. So once again, because of the way the SHD ETF has been trading pretty much ever since 2021, the way that I view this, the way that I frame this is that this ETF is offering a massive buying opportunity for investors like myself that have been able to stack up a ton of shares in the low 70s, giving us a starting dividend yield of somewhere pretty close to almost 4%, which is absolutely amazing. Especially considering that this ETF not only pays a nice starting dividend yield, and this ETF doesn't also just pay more and more dividends over time, but this ETF has also grown ETF price pretty consistently, once again, pretty much since the start of 2020 at least, where the ETF has traded down into the right a little bit. But historically speaking, this ETF is up a ton. And what's astonishing is if you look at this ETF's total return and stack it against most other popular stocks or even popular ETFs, this ETF has performed quite well and it's remained pretty stable throughout time. Now, the other main reason why I think this ETF is offering a massive once in a long time by an opportunity for dividend growth investors that once again are interested in locking in a nice, healthy starting dividend yield of just shy of, say, 4%. And on top of that, investors that are looking for dividend growth and also some long-term price return on top of that. Now, once again, if those are not things that you're looking for, this ETF most likely will not be for you. But for me, I'm trying to build a portfolio long-term that not only pays me dividends on not only a consistent quarterly basis, but also I'm building a portfolio of stocks and ETFs that are hopefully going to be paying me more and more over time. Now, with the up and coming reconstitution for SCHD, which is going to take some of these stocks in and out of the portfolio, as of right now, the top 10 holdings are things like Broadcom at 4.59%. Then we have things like Amgen, Verizon, Coca Cola, Pepsi, Merrick, The Home Depot, Abby, Cisco, and Texas Instrument. A lot of these companies in this list are very, very high quality companies. And a lot of these companies in this list are actually companies I invest in solely in my portfolio. But there are certain names within the longer, larger list of holdings inside of SCHD that are not really performing all that well this year. And for those reasons, we are going to see some names get taken out and some new names brought in. And on top of that, this portfolio's balancing is going to continue to change over time. Now, with this, we could see some massive growth if the names that are shifted around are, of course, high performing. Not to mention, even though some of these names, Broadcom, Amgen, etc., etc., even if some of these names have not performed all that well over the last 12 months, let's say, as far as price return, a lot of these names have increased their dividends substantially in just the last few quarters. 
Which exactly brings me into my last point on why I think this ETF is offering a massive buying opportunity and why this opportunity might not be here all that much longer. Of course, I could be wrong. I could be right. But either way, I'm buying this ETF like crazy. The last reason, though, that I think this is a good opportunity is the fact that the X dividend date for SEHD's December dividend is coming up. It's as a film in this video right around the corner, actually. And to be more specific, historically, the last few distributions in December had X dividend dates around December 7th, and then the one before that was around December 8th. Now, what's important about the December dividend is that historically, it's been a pretty good sized dividend. And also on top of that, look at this dividend growth. Last year in 2022, end of the year, SCHD paid out the December dividend of almost 71 cents per share. But the year before that, only 62 cents per share. So year over year, the dividend amount increase just in one year was 8 cents of growth. Now, of course, if you only have, say, one or two shares of SCHD, three or four shares, you're not really all that concerned about 8 cents per share. I get it. But for the investors out there like myself that are starting to stack up a significant portion of shares, like I mentioned earlier as a film in this video, I think I'm holding around five or 600 shares of SCHD across my portfolios and my longer term goal is to get to hopefully 1,000 shares very soon here. But to go back to the dividend growth for the December dividend, it has historically been pretty juicy. And with that X dividend date coming up really soon here, I would not be surprised if we see a massive inflow of money into SCHD just for that reason. The dividend that SCHD pays consistently on a quarterly basis is one of the main reasons on why you and I buy this ETF. Now, looking at the last few dividends that SCHD paid, we saw a 65 cent dividend paid back in September, a 66 cent dividend paid back in June, a 60 cent dividend paid back in March, and then last December, we saw a massive dividend of 70 cents paid, which was much, much higher than the previous December of 62 cents. So just to put things into perspective for you and to give you a visual, back in 2020, SCHD paid 60 cents on the December dividend. Then in 2021, SCHD paid 62 cents per share. And then finally, just last December, SCHD paid 70 cents per share on the December dividend. Now to look a little bit deeper into how much of an increase the December dividends have been year over year when it comes to SCHD, last year back in December, the 70 cent per share dividend that was paid was a 13.5% year over year increase. Not to mention back in 2021, the dividend in December was a 3.0% increase. And then back in 20, the December dividend increase was 29.1% increase year over year, which is absolutely huge. And as you look right here on the right column, you can see that year over year, at least up until this most recent June, SCHD's dividends have been increased anywhere from say 8%, 30%, 3%, 20%. And pretty much whatever quarter you really look at, there's been nice, healthy increases, which is again, one of the main reasons on why I love this ETF. So with SCHD still trading in the low 70s, a situation where we have a decently high probability of the Federal Reserve being done raising rates and maybe even cutting rates sometime next year. On top of that, a reconstitution right around the corner, there's more reasons than even we went over in this video on why I think the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF is a massive smash by opportunity while it's still trading at these levels. Not to mention the ETF's X dividend date is right around the corner, so we're gonna have to see how that plays out as well. But in the case of SHD, the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF, I wanna hear from you guys down below. Are you currently in Q4 of 2023, still personally stacking tons of shares of SHD in your portfolio? And if you happen not to be, what else have you been buying as of recently? Comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like and subscribe for more future content like this. Thanks as always for stopping by, and if you are interested in investing, make sure to check out these recent videos I posted right here.